Alright ladies and gentlemen, Jack the Sculptor here with GatheringMagic.com and I'm here with Brian Kibler. Hello. Hey Brian, how are you doing today? I'm doing great, how are you? Uh, I'm doing okay. So uh, yeah, this is uh, a draft format, how do, you, how do you like it so far? Uh, the, the, the new draft format is pretty interesting. Uh, it, it really changes the way that you have to pay attention to different things during the draft. Uh, in, in most draft formats, I don't, really, I don't really care too much about signaling. You know, some people will say, you know, oh, I don't want to take a good red card of the pack because the second best card is also red. The person to my left in red, and I'll be fighting over the color with them. Uh, most of the time, it doesn't matter very much because you're the one who's getting the first picks out of two of the three packs you know, when you're passing to the left. Uh, but in this format, it really does matter when you're talking about the gate crash guilds. Uh, because the color combinations, the gold cards are the, are the, the strongest cards in the, in the format. Uh, and the, uh, the best gold cards in the second set are, you know, obviously belong to the, gold, the Gate Crash guilds. You know, Boros, Simic, uh, etc. And if you, uh, if you end up passing really good Boros cards or really good Simic cards, and then trying to draft Boros or Simic, uh, you're going to end up in an awkward spot where you're just not getting good picks out of the, uh, the, the second pack. So I think that, you know, while you, uh, you frequently don't really need to care about what you're passing, in this format it, it matters a lot more. All right, so uh, you're developing a game called Soulforge right now. How's that going? Uh, it's going great. Uh, we've we've had you know a lot of uh, a lot of great feedback from people, and you know the the beta version that we have out right now. Um, we have you know all kinds of cool stuff that we're we're working on internally. So uh, we're we're very excited. Yeah, and if you don't know, like Soulforge is a game that Brian is developing. It's like halfway between Magic and there's another game. Uh, that Richard Garfield created, I forgot the, the PC game. Do you remember what it's the called? Spectrum Spectrum Man, yeah. It's kind of like that. Like in the best parts of both. It's also a collectible card game. And uh, Brian had a Kickstarter recently, and uh, yeah, uh, definitely check the game out. And uh, Brian, I have to ask as a PC player, when is the PC update coming? Uh, actually, very soon. Uh, we we've been we've been testing the uh, the PC build that has you know new decks, deck selection, and stuff like that uh, internally for a while. I actually was streaming a, a version of that uh, a couple weeks ago, maybe even last week. Can't remember at this point, but uh, but yeah, it's uh, it's definitely coming uh, coming along well, and uh, it should be out pretty soon. Okay, all right. Thanks, Brian, for your time, and uh, good luck with the rest of the, the tournament. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. All right, this is Jack the Mind Sculptor for Gathering Magic signing out.